If you have any of these garbage ideas floating around in your mind, you and success, not gonna happen. It is impossible for you to get any further in life than the ideas in your mind. So if you are subscribing to any of these lies, you're not gonna be able to create or experience anything in your life past this if that's what's living in your mind. This is the good news. This is what is true about you. On your worst day, this 100% of the time is the truth of you. You are healthy, you are successful, you are beautiful, you are wealthy, you are abundant, you are happy, you are fulfilled. These are lies. Somebody taught you these things. And because these were taught to you, you can unlearn them. You did not come into this world with these ideas. They were given to you, they were learned, somebody told you, showed you, had experiences where you believe these lies, but today, Today, no more. You don't have to believe any of this garbage about yourself because they're lies. If your mind and your body is filled with these ideas, you and success are not friends. I'm gonna show you exactly how we dismantle the lies. Somebody a long time ago, or maybe even recently, shared the idea with you that you were undeserving in some capacity that you weren't worthy or deserving of the things that you want. Watch this. Is this true? The answer is no. And let's say that you wanna say yes. If it's yes, how do you know it's absolutely true? How can you tell me right now in this moment that you're undeserving? Because I can promise you, even if you have made bad choices in the past, made mistakes, if you are still making mistakes today, but you being undeserving, never, ever, 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 ever gonna be true. So now that we know that that's not true, what is more true? Probably that you've made some mistakes and you're worthy of being forgiven. You maybe have made mistakes where you need to take responsibility and you need to have uncomfortable conversations conversations with the people involved. Like those are all things that you are capable of doing as a mature, healthy adult. Now we're getting into therapy stuff. So let's, we look back. Now that our brain recognizes that this is not a truth, we can fill it up with what is actually true. For a deeper dive into thought therapy, I have a whole module dedicated to it in the Self Code Academy. You can sign up for the wait list below. This is where it gets good and where most people struggle. We are wanting success, but our mind is filled with thoughts of failure. Remember all of the lies that we went over? If your mind is having those ideas that you're not good enough, there's failure, there's lack, there's fear, there's doubt. So if you are thinking thoughts of failure in some sort of shape or form, you're not gonna be able to create, manifest, experience, success in any form because this is your creative mechanism. This is what you're thinking from and creating from. So if this is filled with those lies, you're not gonna be aligned with success. How we align the mind with success is we flood it with these ideas. And if these don't feel right, find something that feels good to you. But this is the truth of you at the core essence. Remember, you come from perfection. You come from goodness. You come from unconditional love. That is who you are. And when you align to these ideas, that is how you align your mind with success. So instead of believing any type of ideas or thoughts about your unworthiness or your undeserving you're gonna change this up and you're gonna flood the mind with ideas and thoughts of, you guessed it, success. But in order for you to align your mind with success, you have to believe in yourself. You have to see yourself as a successful person. You have to think thoughts about yourself that align with success, which is gonna be happiness and joy and abundance and fun and love and brilliance. Those are ideas that are a match to success. You must look at the thoughts that you think about yourself. You must look at the ideas that you have in your mind about yourself, your place in the world, your contribution, who you are, what you're deserving and worthy of. You're gonna adopt these new ideas, the truth about you. You're gonna dismantle any kind of lie, anything that tells you that you are not good enough, that you are not worthy of achieving or experiencing success. It is a lie and it doesn't belong there. If you wanna go deeper, definitely check out the Self Code Academy or you can sign up to work with me privately. And if you know somebody that can benefit from this content, please share it with them. Remembering that everything we experience in our outside life is a projection from the mind. So when we flip the script and we change any kind of failure thinking into success thinking, and then we ultimately experience the success that we are wanting. When failure is here, guess what your life's gonna look like? A whole bunch of failure. And it all comes down to the most simplest, simplest thing, the ideas and the thoughts that you hold about yourself. When you come to really know and believe that this is who you are, this is the truth of you. You are stunning, you are beautiful, you are perfect, you are amazing. Serving and worthy of everything that you want.
when you know that with every cell of your being, that is when you truly align your mind with like true success. So let's say that you take this to heart and you are committed to cleaning out all of the trash thoughts that you have in your mind about yourself. And let's say that you are going to adopt this way of thinking and believing, and you're really going to practice this every single day because it will change your life. This is you today making that commitment that you're going to align your mind with success from this day forward. I declare I will think these incredible things about myself because they are true. You are an amazing human being, regardless of what you've done. Believe it. You can expect your outside world to do a whole bunch of nothing because there is a bit of a time delay between when we create in the imagination and when we can expect to have that experience mirrored back to us. That's us now planting seeds. They're really in the mind. So your outside world, it's going to look exactly the same. Nobody is going to know the difference based on your external results, but this is the very, very good news. When you decide and you commit to believe all of these incredible things about yourself instantly, immediately you feel better. If you can change out a trashy thought and replace it for I'm a healthy person, I'm happy, I'm abundant, I'm fulfilled right away. You feel better. We're going to fast forward. Let's say three months, not an actual timeline. And these little guys are in the ground. The seeds are cracked open and they're growing. We most likely will not see anything. Our fictitious three months down the road, our external world, nothing's changed, no result. But what's happening here is the most amazing transformation. Cause a couple months in when you are radiating at this particular energy, knowing that you are just the most incredible human that there ever was, you're feeling good. But again, if we're looking for physical evidence, probably not going to be any six months down the road, those tiny little seeds that we planted today have grown deep roots into the ground. They are firm. They are rooted in your mind. And there is this abundant harvest of amazing, beautiful things in your life. But none of that really matters because you feel good. You're happy. You like yourself. You no longer engage in thinking that is destructive or unhelpful. And you're surrounded by evidence of that self transformation. When you make a decision that you want to feel good about yourself, just for the sake of feeling good about yourself and becoming someone that you like, that is all you will ever need. You don't need any of this to change. It's the most wonderful paradox thing that ever was. We want things outside of us to change so that we feel better. But when we empower ourselves to feel better, to think better, and then we don't need the things outside to change because we made that internal decision. That's exactly when things start to change. <laughs> and if you understand this and you practice it, this will absolutely change your life.